Hey guys, I have a little bit of a short video here. Um, recently, actually just today, I got this Dell Latitude D830, except this isn't mine. This actually belongs to someone else, so um, what happened was they gave this to me, and they want me to speed it up. You know, it's all gunked up with files and stuff, it's incredibly slow, and they wanted me to do a little bit of a work on it. So, I'm just going to make a little bit of a quick video on speeding this thing up. So. Uh, the specs are a 2.4 GHz Core 2 Duo, 4 gigs of RAM, the hard drive, hold on, I haven't actually checked this thing out a ton for myself, but the hard drive is 160 GB, so that's not bad, this thing's in pretty good condition, it works fine, it's from like early, mid-2008, so, anyway, of 148 GB, um, roughly 28 of those are free, and I've gone ahead and started up disk cleanup. It took about 5 or 10 minutes to calculate the space it could clean up, and it says it can free up about 6.6 .6 gigabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This trackpad's annoying. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm just going to go ahead and compress all those old files and stuff, and this will probably take an hour or so, because uh, the same guy, he actually wanted me to speed up some of his desktops. He had Dell Dimension 3000 and a Dell, I think it was like a um, Optiplex GX270. And he wanted me to speed those up and I uh, did disk clamp on both of them and it took about an hour or two each to compress the old files and that was insane. They're still really slow so I might end up doing more work for him and reformatting the hard drives and everything. But anyway, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be making some little updates on this thing as I go along. I, I just decided to make this video like two minutes ago. Um, I don't know. I might not upload this, but I just decided to make a really quick video on kind of my process of speeding up a computer. So after I compress these files and clean the hard drive up of all the gunky files and delete all the programs that are not being used, I'm going to go ahead and defrag the hard drive and then, then maybe do some more stuff. So yeah, I'll continue the video when this is done. Okay, so after running disk cleanup, I now have 30.5 gigabytes free. Now before when I said whoever doesn't make gigabytes for free, I was reading from right there. So, um, relatively, I now have 32.75 gigabytes free. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start deleting programs that are not needed. And this computer is set up kind of weird. Um, when you hit start, it doesn't have some stuff right in there. I have to go to, uh settings and then control panel which is kind of odd and also my computer and stuff in my network places are on the desktop which I find to be a little bit odd uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to no, add or remove hardware or programs I mean yeah hardware yeah right and I'm going to go ahead and do some of this stuff and I'll update what the hell is it doing I'll update on that once I have completed that task okay so I've deleted about 15 or 20 programs including like uh, Yahoo Toolbar, or Google Toolbar, and stuff like that. But also some programs that haven't been used since like late 2008. So, um, so yeah, I cleared up a hard drive space by doing that, and this is just doing a registry defrag. Sorry about that, my camera being itself decided to run out of battery power. I actually think I'm going to buy an extended battery for this camera, because this battery is not lasting. But anyway, yeah, I was just doing registry defrag, and also, as I was saying, I usually like to install a program called Advanced System Care. It's free and it's by IOBit, so it's called. You can just Google Advanced System Care if you want to get it and uh, click on the result and Google us from IOBit.com. And uh, it's a free program. It's anti-malware. It's not real-time protection though, so it does like scans. It doesn't protect any threats as they're incoming. But most importantly what it does is it can scan your computer and it um, it's great for speeding up a slow computer. It deletes files that aren't used, like junk files and stuff. And it just does you know, cleanups and defragments the uh, registries and, and stuff. So I just start to show you guys. I already ran a, the, uh, the scan on it and fixed all the problems with that. So it's kind of pointless to run it again. But um, I freed up more hard drive space. And. Let's see, oh my gosh, I'm just going completely backwards here. I keep on forgetting that my computer 
is on the desktop. So I don't see it in the start menu and I start automatically looking around and I forget that it's on the freaking desktop. So, but this computer is a little bit slow, but I haven't defragmented the hard drive yet. So right now it says it has 38.2 gigabytes free. I think when I started working with this thing, I had about 16 or 17, so I've freed up about 20 gigabytes of space. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm going to go to programs, accessories, system tools, disk defragmenter. Now I analyzed it a, a little while ago before I um, before I did a lot of the stuff that I've done before I installed some of the programs and before I uh, ran advanced system care. I didn't do the disk defragmenting of in advanced system care. So it hasn't been defragmented yet, but uh, this is going to be pretty bad. At least, at least it should be. No, that's not complete. It's still going. I mean, it's 25% free space. So. One thing I've noticed though is that so far this computer is slow to start up, but once it gets started up, it actually runs pretty fast. Though right now it's kind of going slow, but the hard drive is nearly full, and sometimes it does take quite a while to analyze disks. The program seems to start much faster after the computer's had a moment to start up and get going. Now, I am probably going to uninstall Advanced System Care once I'm done with it, because the person who wants this computer probably won't use it. And it's more likely that if I ironically slow it down is to speed it up. Okay. That's how fragmented it is. But, um, Advanced System Care. At least the uh, the new version which was released. This is actually my first time downloading the new version. It has this little thing on the right hand corner of the screen. Older versions had this too, but uh, I think this is more. I think they kind of mandated it when you download the program. It has this little thing at the top right of the screen. My camera isn't focusing. It's also your CPU usage and RAM usage. It's pretty useful. I'm just monitoring stuff without having to go to uh, the performance section of Control Delete or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and start defragmenting this hard drive. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know how successful it's going to be. Because usually, you know, I defragment hard drives. Windows has to skip over the bigger files and stuff. Um, but I'm going to let that run. I don't know if it's going to take 10 minutes. Well, it definitely won't take 10 minutes. Or if it's going to take, like, an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and resume this video when I'm done doing that. Okay, more than a day later, I have this hard drive uh, defragmented fairly well. The reason I'm saying more than a day later is because yesterday I was taking the video, I had to leave it overnight to defragment because it was taking so long because I had to go to bed. And then I woke up in the morning and it hadn't fully finished because the computer had gone to sleep and stuff, so I didn't get really around to working on this and defragging it again until late today. So, yeah, anyway, um, I defragmented it a second time. It couldn't defragment a couple files, but you know, it's okay. So that's, that's, that's an okay. Um, file arrangement right there. It's not great, but it's, it's not too bad. I don't really know what happened with the uh, background here. Um, I, it's, I, saw, I um, logged into the account and uh, it had some settings to reset and stuff. I don't really know why, but it shouldn't really matter. But um, this computer is pretty fast now. It was slow before. It's a little bit faster, so you know, it's a bit better. Um, so I think that's going to be going to be pretty much it for this video. Uh, this is the quick video on uh, speeding this thing up and making it not so freaking slow. Um, the fact that I don't really know why I made the video, but I decided to, so that's what I did. So thank you guys for watching.